The Chargers future is up in the air right now. But today, we got a little more clarity on guys like Corey Lindsley, Khalil Mack, and Keenan Allen. So make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content, man. It helps me out so much. And now we are finally in the offseason. Let's bolt the f up, man. And let's start talking about what's going to happen with Corey Lindsley. Because today at a press conference, Corey Lindsley said that he has officially 99% retired from the NFL. He's 99% sure because of that heart issue that forced him to sit out for basically this entire season because he only played in those first three games. This hurts our offensive line a lot because we saw how much they struggled this year without Corey and the interior of that offensive line suffered the most, specifically Zion Johnson. The communication never really got up to speed for those guys and we saw them give up a lot of pressures up the middle due to missed assignments and stunt moves that they really weren't able to pick up. Now that we know that Corey Lindsley is gone or 99% sure that Corey Lindsley is gone, we can look at Will Clapp and Brendan Hymas as the likely next man up for next year. But also don't forget about guys like Brent Lang on the practice squad and also Cameron Tom, who was signed to the active roster just prior to the Bills game this year. I wouldn't expect either of those guys to really contend for that starting center position, but they're going to be on this team next year for training camp. So they're going to be in there for depth and they're going to get playing time. And they're going to battle for some of those backup offensive line positions. And I actually thought that both Will Clapp and Brendan Hymas were just fine in place of Corey Lindsley last year. I mean, obviously it was a big downgrade because Corey Lindsley was maybe the best center in the NFL all the way up until the point that he retired. And I hope that he remains in good health in his retirement because that's a scary thing to retire from heart issues. We're, we're all really hoping for the best for Corey Lindsley, but a lot of Chargers fans did not like Will Clapp. And I'm kind of, I, I understand that, okay? Because Will Clapp is a 28 year old center. He wasn't great in place of Corey Lindsley. He's not really a starting caliber center in the NFL. So what I would rather see, and what I'm sure a lot of Chargers fans would rather see as well, is Brendan Hymas battle for that job with some other guys like Jordan McFadden, or maybe Jamari Sawyer could battle there. And someone brought in this offseason as well for cheap, either through the draft or through free agency. And here's a look at all of the free agent centers. And you can see there are a couple fine names on this list, but I was impressed with Jordan McFadden. And I think as he has earned the right to push for some playing time on our offensive line next year. And that creates an issue for us because now we have three guards that we want to play with Zion Johnson, Jamari Sawyer, and now Jordan McFadden. And it would make our lives so much easier. This would solve two problems for us if one of these guys could just slide inside and play center. And out of all of these guys, I would much rather see Jordan McFadden go in there at center because I don't want to see Zion Johnson moved anywhere else other than left guard because we saw that right guard to left guard transition may have been tough for him. And I want as few obstacles as possible in his path for success because he's a big part of this offensive line. He was our first round draft pick. And Jamari Sawyer, I'd rather not see him at center because Jamari can play both tackle and guard. So if you throw him in there at center, it might be overwhelming for him. And you also lose the ability to have a guard slash tackle combo because if you play him at center and he does play well, then you're not ever going to move him away from that position. So you're basically losing one of your hybrid guard tackle players on your offensive line. And so then that just leaves Jordan McFadden as the best player that could transition to center out of those three guys. And we've already seen him show some versatility in the NFL. We all saw him play fullback, which we loved to see that but we also saw him play at tight end in some jumbo sets like on the goal line in those short yardage situations and also when he was in college at Clemson he played left tackle and right tackle he's playing guard in the NFL fullback in tight ends at times I mean this guy absolutely has the ability to play center if he wants to so now that we've talked about that let's talk about the cap implications of Corey Lindsley retiring because Corey Lindsley was the highest paid center in the NFL, and he was set to make 14 million next season and 17 million the year after that in 2025. And now we can waive both of those figures and that saves a bunch of money on this team. And we were pretty much hamstrung for money for this next season, but we still have issues in the cap. 
with wide receiver and edge. So now let's talk about Keenan Allen because he was also talking to the press today and he was asked about his future. So he said, I don't want to go nowhere else. If it did come down to that, a trade, I'll get picked up in the off season or right before the playoffs, just like them old heads. So Keenan understands the situation that the Chargers are in right now and the uncertainty in his future because of the new GM and general manager that are about to take over. Who knows what Jim Harbaugh is going to do? Keenan is going to be 32 next season and he is going to have a $34 million cap hit. So it's easy to see why he could be a trade target for teams or just simply cut in this offseason if this next regime wants to go that route which i don't think they should i think that would be a mistake because keenan allen can still play at a high level but i would still understand the decision making both of these things can be true keenan allen is an elite route runner and still can play at as one of the best wide receivers in the nfl even at his age but he also has a huge cap number and he is 31, going to be 32 next season. He's not going to be able to sustain such a high level of play for so much longer. And if it were me, I would get rid of one of these wide receivers that we have right now, but it would not be Keenan Allen. It would be Mike Williams because of his inability to stay healthy. That is a huge thing. And because as much as we talk about Keenan's age, man, let's not forget this. Mike Williams is almost just as old as Keenan Allen. I know it doesn't feel like that because of the difference in years between when they were drafted, but Mike Williams is 29 years old right now. And his style of football does not carry over into his 30s like Keenan Allen's does. I mean, he struggles to play that style of football right now. He's always injured. He's rarely on the field, and his only real trait is a jump ball wide receiver, which he is really freaking good at. Let's not forget that. But is that one trait worth $32 million next year when maybe he's not even going to play 14 or 13 games in a season and the team actually has an out in his contract this offseason they can save 20 million dollars by either trading him and they're probably not going to get much in return because he's got a huge calf number aging wide receiver that struggles to stay on the field not going to get much in a trade there or you just flat out cut him to save 20 million dollars in cap space it is worth noting though that keenan allen also has an out in his contract this offseason that would save the Chargers $23 million in cap space, but I would much rather have Keenan and be $3 million less rich in the cap than have Mike Williams. And I would also rather have Khalil Mack on the Chargers because when asked about his plans today, he said, I know what I bring to the game, understanding that I want to be a team guy, whatever team, I am not in control of that right now. And listen, I don't think that this means much to be honest with you because Khalil Mack, he's just an extremely loyal and hardworking player. So I would not read too much into this and how he said any team rather than this team, the Chargers, the team that I'm on. He stuck around on the Raiders and the Bears and I don't think he would ask for a trade, but I think he is acknowledging just like Keenan Allen was, that his future is uncertain because of the uncertainty with the coaching staff and the general manager position right now. Unlike Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, Khalil Mack does not have an out in his contract and I would actually expect the Chargers to extend him at some point this season. So I wouldn't be too worried about this quote. Khalil is locked in and will help the Chargers win unless the Chargers are the ones that decide to go away from him, which I would be shocked if that were the case, no matter who is controlling the Chargers. So now we're a little bit more clear on what the future holds with some of these big names on the Chargers. And if you want to see what the future may hold in terms of the number five overall draft pick, I would suggest you watch this video right here because I'm a big fan of Brock Bowers.